Hello friends, welcome to part two of my uh, Tori 3D playthrough. Um, we're gonna dive into the second set of levels here, starting with Starry Sky. Wait, hello friends, welcome to Total Power Presents Power Playthroughs Project with Total Power. I'm your host, Total Power. This is a power that will play by in a powerful way. I forgot to say all that, but hey, we're off and running on I Jumped to My Death. Um, yeah, oops. I forgot to introduce the podcast, because here's the secret, friends. I'm recording this episode, like, four minutes after ending part one of my playthrough of Tori 3D. Um, yeah, we're very quick after that. Uh, the only reason, as mentioned in the first episode, that I even broke up the episode, well, not the only reason, but one of the only reasons was because I was having issues with my capture card. Uh, so I restarted my computer, and I'm hoping that fixed it, but I don't know if it did, and I can't tell you because I can't stop to watch what's happening on the screen uh, while I play the game, because I will die if I do that. Um, so we're just assuming that it's fixed, is what we're doing. As we push on ahead here in Tori 3D. Ooh, there's there's big stars. So this city, this this level's like the city again, but there's a big star that just turned into a scary like jack o' lantern face. As the music got all weird. I don't quite know what that means, but I don't like it. Um, I don't like the scary jack o' lantern face. What just happened? Why did I slide? Oh, there was a building for me to land on. For some reason, I like slid off the end of that building, and I wasn't expecting it. Okay, that time I landed. Okay, another star is making a scary jack o' lantern face. Um, up ahead, there's a bunch of buildings that are tilted, like ones off to the left are tilted to the right, towards the middle. So it's sitting right there. They're all tilted towards the middle from the outside. It's like that thing that's in American Ninja Warrior where you have to do the, the run where you go like, hoo hoo hoo, where you kick off of a bunch of different walls. Um, that's what those buildings are arranged like. And they've got three stars on each of them, and there's bees flying between them. But I made it through that challenge. Also, I forgot I could run. Ha ha ha. I've been, I've been just running at normal speed like a fool, because while I was restarting my computer, I forgot that there was a run button in Tori 3D. Um, here we go, my little chicken, really boosting it now. Uh, we're at 64 out of 70 stars, 2 minutes and 14 seconds into the level so far. Oh, there's some, there's some buildings up ahead that are moving up and down. That's disconcerting. Okay. Oh, didn't make it to the second building there. Okay. I'm just gonna have to be patient on this. Because it'll be faster to be patient than it will end. God, those jack lantern face stars are freaking me out, man. Faster to be patient than to die, is what I was starting to say. I can't really see where I'm going next. Okay, I died. Remember when I said it'll be faster to be patient than to die? I died. Um, because I forgot that I could tilt my camera up in order to see down where I needed to go. Which is, that's, okay. That time I just ran into a creature because I was looking over at my computer to see if my capture card was behaving any better. Um, which it's not really, it looks like. That's, that's a little disappointing. Um, I don't see it doing the screen tearing thing, but... Uh, it looks like it's having frame rate issues. Oh, wow. Like I said in the last episode, um, hey, this, this, this is a... Uh, podcast first. It's an audio-only format first. The video content is all just uh, a bonus. It's the video content is all just an elaborate prank, and uh, and the pranks on you for watching the video content, unless you're listening to the audio content, in which case the pranks on those other people who want to see the video games that they're hearing someone play? What does that even mean? I don't even understand it. Picked up some stars. Oh, here's one of those. Ooh. Uh, okay. Um, I went through one of the rift things, and there, the, there, it's gone now, but the sky turned into error messages or something, and the creepy Grim Reaper thing was, like, moving slowly towards me, and then I backed away and he disappeared. And now I'm gonna go finish the level and pretend that nothing weird happened. I got a rank C. My audio's mess should it be full of radio static? No? What? I don't hear any radio static. Oh, 
There must have been something in the level. Because I don't hear any. Um, Windy Ocean is the next level. It looks like this takes place on a, um, an aircraft carrier. As in the aircraft carrier featured in book number 46 of the Animorphs, which is the first book that breaks the uh, alternating narrator format by having Axe narrate a book in between uh, Marco and Jake. Is it 46? I think it's 46. Um, that's, that's, I'm reading that book right now because I decided I wanted to reread re the ending arc. Yeah, it's gotta be 46. I think that's right. Oh, fell to my death. Um, I didn't even make it onto the aircraft carrier. We're like going up some ramps and some wind turbines leading to the aircraft carrier, and I just, I didn't even make it that far. Maybe we're not leaving the aircraft carrier. Looks like we're going up a bunch of wind turbines at that point away from the aircraft carrier? Which, if that's the case, like, why even is there an aircraft carrier? I don't know how to make this, this jump. Uh... Lokathor says, I'm a fake fan. I didn't read from, like, 30 to 53 of the Animorphs? Are you really? Oh my goodness, you should read the final arc. From book, I believe it's, yeah, 45 onwards. Oh, geez, I just ran straight into that B. 45 uh, sets the stage for the finale. And then from 45 to 50, it's it's like the end of DS9, where it's, where it's uh, just one ongoing stuff. Oh, jeez, I ran into that B again. It's just one ongoing story at that point. Um, totally worth reading. Um, wow, my stream looks like shit. Why does it look so bad? That's so strange. I just need a new computer to do this with. I just need a new computer, because this one's just bad for this stuff. The thi oh, jeez, I ran into that beat again. It looks bad because I don't have a hot tub? That's why the stream looks bad? If I had a hot tub, everything would look great. What if I did a stream from the hot tub, but not without any video, because I don't want to be, like, you know, in my bathing suit on the internet. That's, that's not me. Really. So I'll just do, I'll just do, I'll do a bathtub stream, but it'll be an audio-only bathtub stream. Actually, I can't even joke about that, because Evan and Tyler already did a bathtub podcast, and it was great. I love Evan and Tyler's bathtub podcast. They, they reviewed bath bombs together. It was really, it was really very fun. I listened to that while playing Super Mario and Luigi go on an RPG adventure on the Game Boy Advance. I can't think of what that game's called. Uh, Superstar Saga? Is that what it's called? Maybe? I didn't finish that game. Oh man, there's a whole bunch of fan things here, and there's bees all over, and there's stars in the fan things, and I want to get all the stars. I've gotten all the stars on all the levels so far, friends. I don't feel like I can, like, leave a star behind. But I also don't want to get hit by one of these bees and I have to go back to a checkpoint, so I'm trying to be very precise about where I go here. Okay. Who else? Where else are there stars? I think just those ones over in the corner. Okay. And that's the last one. Alright, let's take this fan up and up. And up. Watch out for bees. There's a bee that goes right across those stars. That's not cool. I'm at 58 out of 64 stars, and now we're going towards a jet or a, a, a wind turbine that takes us onto an aircraft carrier. We've made it, friends. We're on the aircraft carrier where there's cool spaceship-looking aircrafts. I love them. And then we're gonna go off some more jet things onto another aircraft carrier. Here we go. I forgot to jump. And I died. Oops. 
I forgot to jump and I forgot the run button existed again. So, pro gamer over here. Alright, here we go back up to the top. And we've already got all those stars, so we can just run by all these things. Here we go, on to the aircraft carrier. And run, 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 run. Jump over an enemy, jump over another enemy, run, 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 run. Into the vortex, and then double jump, and then run, 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 run. Run, 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 Uh-oh. I'm only at 58 out of 64 stars. Um... And I'm at the end of the level. I didn't see four other stars. Did I miss four stars somewhere? Whatever, I'm gonna finish the level. Am I? Yeah, I'm going to. I wonder if we'll have to have, um... Uh... All the stars to, like, unlock the last level or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um... Next level is Hungry Mountain Peak. Is Logothor says this is just Metal Harbor, but with more green. Is that- Oh! Okay, there's a snowball that when I get close to it, opens up and it's got a big scary mouth and big scary eyes. Let's not touch that. Uh, is, is, is whatever you said, Metal Harbor, that, that sounds like a Sonic level. Is that a Sonic level? Don't bring Sonic into my chat. Wait, listen. Troll Power Presents Power Players Project is a project and podcast and thing that is very pro-positivity. I think there's a lot of negativity in the world, so even when I'm playing something that's terrible, like the Animorphs game for the Game Boy Color, I try to try to stay positive about it. It's hard to stay positive about that game. But in general, I try to stay positive about things. I try to have fun with things, you know? Not just, just shit on things and yell on things. But this is an anti-Sonic household. We don't talk about Sonic here. Don't you bring that mess into this. That, that stupid blue piece of garbage it runs too fast. You can't do anything because you just die all the time. I hate Sonic because I'm bad at Sonic. <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. We're on a moving platform made of ice, and so I had to jump onto it. And then I jumped from it onto another moving platform made of ice, but I have to be careful not to slip off the edge. Okay, there's a checkpoint. Okay, several moving platforms made of ice in a row. Ready? One, missed a star. Two, missed a star. Let's try and get back to the first one. Okay, I'm on the first one. Star, boom. Okay, onto the second. We're gonna wait on here until we get the star. Wait. Troy, it's not a Sonic level, it's an Animorphs level? What? Metal Harbor, but most more green? Metal, Metal, Metal Harbor is not an Animorphs thing. What? Are you just, you're just trying to make excuses? You're trying to, you're trying to smuggle your Sonic content in under the guise of Animorphs? Is that what's happening here? Oh, I died. I died. I got greedy. I got greedy. Okay. The good news is the stars that I got stay got, so we can progress a little quicker this time. Oh, but not that quickly, apparently. Um, yeah. My claim is that Metal Harbor is an Animorphs level and you can't disprove it. I'm pretty sure that I just did by accusing you of being a Sonic fanboy who tried to make me play Sonic Adventure 2 once. And I said, no, sir, I will not. Oh, gosh, big slide. Big slide scary snowball monsters. I've missed several stars because I have to jump back and forth between two big slides, dodging bees and big snowball monsters while also trying to collect the stars. <gasps> okay, there's the end of the level. 50 out of 56 stars. That's my least favorite level so far by far. Yep, didn't like that one. I did not like the big snowball monsters. They scared me. Um, one more level, Edge Runner, and then we'll see if we've unlocked the final level. I bet we don't. I bet I bet you have to get stuff. So maybe maybe this won't be a full playthrough of Tori 3D, um, because if I have to get like high ranks and all the stars on all the levels, 
I'm not gonna do that on stream because that's the kind of thing that requires like focus and dedication and not trying to record a podcast while playing the game. Poof! Poof! B! Aww, I got the stars, but the bee killed me. Um, so this is another level on the trucks. So basically the four, uh, the four levels in the back half of the game are, um, using the same assets as the four levels on the first half of the game. Probably mostly, not entirely, but mostly. Um, and just making more complex levels out of them, which is great! This is, this is a super fun game. Uh, uh hi highly, highly, highly recommended for anyone with a Switch who grew up on 3D platformers! Um... Because yeah, it's it's just it's just a fun, quick, fast-paced, uh, level-based 3D platformer, and it's just it's just charming. Ooh, okay, made it onto a double-decker truck with a checkpoint on it. There's a ooh, oh, you tried to hide some stars from me, Tori. Tori 3D, I can't believe you did that. Sneaky. Okay. Treadmill onto a moving truck with ice on the back. Onto another. Ugh, missed the treadmill jump. The truck I was jumping to. Okay, here we go. Whoop. Down the ice truck, off of it, onto a truck with tons of stars on it, in two tracks, and also two bees moving up and down those two tracks, trying to sting me. My child just got. Don't wake up! Oh, you got me. Don't wake up, child. Don't wake up. It's like. Aw, oh, I jumped into the road. There we go, onto the ice truck, onto the bee truck, and died immediately. Okay, we're skipping the bee truck, we're going right to the next treadmill truck, and it's spitting us off the end, and we died. Okay, definitely have to wait on that one until the next truck gets a lot closer to me. Okay, on the B truck, I got another star. There's still two stars left on the B truck. We did it. We got all the stars on the B truck. Now I just have to get back on this ice truck. And then get from it onto the treadmill truck, and then onto the purple van behind the treadmill truck. Which is the real hard part. So I just basically need to land... Damn it. I was gonna say on the, uh... Uh, cab of the treadmill truck so that I can bide my time for the purple truck to get close. I think that's what I need to aim for. Wait, the purple truck's close! Just go, 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 go! Jump, jump! Made it. Oh, made it. But only got one of those two stars that were there, so we're gonna wait on this purple van until it takes us up to get that star. There it is! Thank you! Okay. Next is an ice truck with a treadmill that's gonna launch me onto a whole other section, separate section of highway. But there's two bees on the ice truck, which I don't like. Maybe this is where I use my D-pad. No, that's too slow. Okay, past the two bees, and onto the treadmill that sends me up and flying. Oh, oh, I died. I was so close to not dying. And then it was dying. Oh, I don't wanna go yet, no. Waiting for that purple van to get closer. Made it. Okay. 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 On the ice truck with the bees. There we go. No. Oh. Bumped into a bee. Okay. Nope. Don't want to go yet. Nope. Like the tenth doctor, I don't want to go. Now I do. There we go. Onto the bee truck, the ice bee truck, the, the frozen bee truck. And we'll go off the launch ramp and onto the next section. Huzzah! Where there is a checkpoint. Alright, there's a fleet of five of the purple vans all together, and there are bees flying all over them, and a bunch of stars. Now, I do know there's a checkpoint right there, so the fact that I just died isn't a huge deal. But it is ki mm, kind of annoying, um, because it seems like mm, this should be a relatively easy area to not die in. And yet, and yet, my friends, several deaths. 
It's okay, I wasn't gonna get better than a C rank anyway, am I right? It's the only rank I know. Maybe that's the only rank in the game. Wouldn't that be, like, a wonderful troll move for a developer to do? To put a ranking system to the levels, but only have C rank? So everybody's like, oh god, I've got to do better, but you can't do better because that's the only rank that there is. And so you just gotta, you, people just keep playing it. There, that's that's the ultimate in replayability, is people will play that game forever trying to get a better rank. And there's not a better rank. Um, all right, I got all the stars in this section. Let's move on to the next truck. Okay. There we go. Treadmill truck onto purple vans. Purple vans. Purple vans. Purple vans. And then a treadmill that's going to shoot us back over the barrier onto the other side of the highway. Pick up some stars and then go back over the barrier again. There's another checkpoint right here. Got it. Fantastic. A wind where there's an accident oh my gosh there's a truck turned sideways and a pileup happening behind it and all these trucks are just moving a little bit at different rates because of this accident it's tragic the news is here probably um there's there's reporters just reporting on this like 25 car pileup with stars on the backs of all the cars for some reason for troy to try to collect as he jumps around and tries not to get too dizzy from all of these cars that are jiggling back and forth at slightly different speeds and rhythms, but he's almost done it. There's the end of the level. We got a C rank. We got all 90 out of 90 stars. Yes. All right. Now's now's the moment of truth. Did that unlock the final level? It did. It's called It's World, and it's it's the creepy Grim Reaper thing. I think. Start. Here we go. All right. Um, so we're on a bunch of, like, pillars that have hexagonal platforms on them, and now I'm jumping from that onto a, uh, tilted over tower, and the creepy Grim Reaper things are hanging out in the background, and by in the background, I mean right next to me, and there's several of them, there's one big one there, there's an upside one down one in the distance, there's a sideways one over there, I'm on, uh, an icy path going uphill now, collecting the stars as I go, trying not to fall to my death. Um, as this creepy Grim Reaper just hangs out in the background, being generally creepy. Um, yeah. Okay, it looks like we have to go down a slide here. There's pink crystals protruding out of the slide. It's a nice reminder that the Adventure Zone graphic novel book number four, The Crystal Kingdom, is coming out, uh, soon. Where's it book three? I don't remember. No, it's four, right? No, three, because there was uh, the, 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 the murder on the Orient Express. I'd forgotten about that one. Okay, now we're jumping across cars and collecting some stars here. So this creepy um, Grim Reaper thing that has something to do with air messages in the sky um, kind of has cobbled all the worlds together into this uh, weird, surreal... Uh, mishmash of worlds. I'm now doing the crane thing from the city levels where I'm riding cranes around, jumping from crane platform to crane platform. And where is this going to take us now? Oh, another crane platform. And now there's um, some cars that are just floating in space. Um, they're not on roads. They're just drifting around. And uh... Yeah, I've got to jump across them, I suppose, which is not at all nerve-wracking. Okay. Yes, a checkpoint. On up to a big platform where there's a checkpoint, and some treadmills taking us up into the sky. Where are we going? Who knows? One treadmill to another, to another. I missed a star. Got it. Okay, going up a treadmill. There's a wind turbine at the top. It throws me onto some more treadmills. And then some treadmills that are floating in the sky. Here we go. Oh my god! I died. Okay. I got pretty far in that level without a death. 
Um, well, my character's glitched out. Okay, they're fine. They were just stuck in the floor a little bit, but we got them out. It's okay. Everything's fine. I wonder if that's supposed to happen in the creepy final world, or if that was actually a glitch that just happened in to happen in the vaguely glitch-themed level. Sorry, I'm back onto the treadmills that are floating in space, so I had to kind of pace out what I was saying to the beat of needing to jump on those treadmills. <gasps> There's the end of the level! Okay. There's an ice cream cone! This is goal, I got a C rank 48 out of 50 stars. And then, and then it shows Tori eating an ice cream. And it says thank you for playing Tori 3D. A game by Marcus Horn at Siactro. Um... Wow. That game was great fun. I don't know if I took any, enough screenshots to post about it on Twitter, but technically that's that's another completed game. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go jump into a level real quick to take some screenshots, um, because because that was great fun. Um, there's only three levels that I haven't got the stars, and let's go back. Can I choose a different character? Oh, I I accidentally started the level. What level did I start? Exit. Oh no, I have to get all the stars all over again when I go into a level. Okay, let's go back. Oh, nope, I have not unlocked either of the other characters yet. Okay, let's go into Windy Ocean, and we're going to, right at the start here, take a screenshot of Tori hanging out, and then we're going to start grabbing some stars, because apparently it uh, it starts my count star counter over. I kind of assumed that the stars that I had collected would stay collected, um, but that is not the case. They did not. So, bummer. Um, there's two stars in between these wind, wind turbines that you have to like, ugh, you have to go up the turbine and then come back and fall onto to collect. And that's just a little bit hard for my brain to do. Okay, got him. All right, here we go. Up a ramp. And up a wind turbine. I don't remember how many stars I missed on this one. I think it was four. So if I find somewhere that there's a collection of four stars that doesn't feel familiar, that's that's how I'll know. Ha, oh, I've got it now. But uh, so far, I'm pretty sure I got all the same stars. Yeah. Okay. Gosh, this game's fun. I mean, that's super short. But uh, obviously, you know, if if you're inclined to do that sort of thing, you can be, you can play this again over and over again to to compete for that ranking score. Um, but that's that's to unlock one character for getting all of the stars in all of the levels, and the other character is is connected to the ranks. And uh, yeah, yeah, rank is just never going to be a thing that. Uh, really motivates me in, in video games um, because I love video games but uh, like like competing for a rank in a video game makes me a little bit stressed like that that turns it from like this is a fun thing to do into like this is work now and uh, that's where that's where a video game starts to lose my interest I feel like we're already at the end of the level and we haven't found anything yeah, because here's the, the we're on the airships now, or the the aircraft carriers. Are there there stars hidden on the the planes? No. Control tower. Oh, there's stars hidden behind the control tower. Look at that, 64 out of 64 stars. All right, now we just need to make this last jump onto the new aircraft carrier, dodge the enemies on the deck, the flight deck and jump on the checkpoint. Yeah, still a goal, or still a rank C, but uh, finished the level, so that's good. Um, I, I don't want to, I don't want to do Hungry Mountain Peak again. I don't want to. We're gonna leave it there. Hey, thanks for listening, friends. I do appreciate it. Uh, that was Tori 3D. What a fun little game. Uh, until next time, friends. Tap A, and hope for the best. If you enjoyed my show, it would mean a lot if you would rate and review it on iTunes, share it on social media, or check out my Patreon. You can find all of my stuff at troidalpower.carrd.co.
This has been a presentation of the We Can Make This Work Probably Network. Follow us on Twitter at Probably Work for more of our questionable content. Also, we have a website called ProbablyWork.com.